Greetings dear viewer, welcome to the first of a few videos, this is going to be a little tips and tricks uh, series of videos, we're going to be starting off with the commander side of things and then eventually moving into the player stuff over the next few days, now we're not going to dabble, there are the chapters down below, you can find what you're interested in, it's nice and organized and very spicy for you, uh, kick back, relax and uh, get a drink and uh, let's just jump straight into it shall we, thank you, oh, let's go. So sometimes you're going to have these situations where humans go aggro early on and they come to harass you with light quads. Unfortunately, the aliens have nothing that can catch up to light quads. However, a couple of well-placed impalers early on using the terrain, although maybe not able to kill the light quad, can dissuade it from pushing any further. The only exception to this is player-controlled hunters who with a bit of a... Uh, ingenuity can get a quad but the main thing early on like this is going to be damage control remember your units are a lot cheaper and you can build them anywhere you want so don't be afraid to lose any so nodes are super important okay you need to spread them everywhere and you can see here this is generally how i build my nodes out long tendrils spanning across the map everywhere don't be afraid to try and like you know build them in spots where they can't be seen because the enemy can destroy them and they will destroy them smart players will harass your nodes and as you can see here you can also build them up cliffs now these act as two main things one they allow you to build further away from your starting point and two they act as recon right now with all these nodes i can see anything coming towards my base from any of these directions however additionally to this the next point tangenting off that is through these nodes you can build anywhere this is a huge advantage of the aliens due to the fact that your buildings are smaller so don't be afraid to build down in ravines and other places where your structures are hidden these spawning cysts for example will be able to produce units in a hidden location allowing my players to spawn on these cysts instead as they're closer to where they died but also these structures are hidden and although the humans do have means of destroying them it's going to take a lot more effort and a lot more time and if you actually build up like this away from your main as the game progresses fully killing you as the aliens and preventing you from having a comeback can be really really difficult as a final addendum to that alien units move quite slow and so moving your spawn points into the map and towards the enemy allows you to attack more frequently with less walk time biocaches don't build them far away build them right next to the tar pits this reduces the time that your bugs need to walk from collecting to depositing nice and simple defensive turrets are very unique for the aliens because you can place them in very interesting locations where they can still be impactful and hide them so that any sneaky little shits that want to come round will get a nice surprise as they come over the ridge line if it's a player and they get jumped it's even more juicy bye bye little scout a little additional note to that is that the turrets are very effective but they will not hold up against a concise attack by the humans at best they will delay and do little bits of damage maybe softening targets for you but a decisive attack will break through these with ease so as the aliens you can build anywhere so do it and build your spawners close to the enemy because fundamentally one of the biggest problems of aliens is your speed your largest units which are essential to winning are slow behemoths scorpions and goliaths they do not move quickly and even impalers and the crabs are slow compared to most human vehicles so by building your spawners closer to the enemy you reduce the amount of time needed to spend walking and increase the amount of time you're on the offensive this can place insane amounts of pressure on a human player additionally to this your spawners should be spread out have a clump in one spot and a clump in another spot this means that you can be building units from multiple directions and eventually overwhelm a human player you want to maximize this huge advantage the humans can't do this because of the size of their buildings but you can go crazy come from everywhere the humans have the ability to actually be quite simplistic in the unit roster they choose and they actually don't have to play with everything to be honest we'll get on to them later but as the bugs you need to take advantage of the full roster at your disposal every unit for the bugs has an inherent massive advantage the hunter 
is the fastest unit the bug possesses and very capable at running things down, especially tiny little humies caught in the desert. But under the control of a player, these things can be incredibly deadly and a pack of three or four of them can easily hunt down harvesters with no issue. The behemoth has the ability to actually shoot over things. So although under your control as the commander, they might play a bit buggy, they can be incredibly effective. The scorpion is your main line vehicle killer and can take quite a few rounds to kill. All of them have their advantages and you need to learn how to maximize them all and be building all of them because fundamentally, whereas the humans can spam tanks, you cannot spam a single unit and win. Not easily at least. Maybe a million crablings could do something. Don't be afraid to build a main force of one group, maybe a side flanking force and another side flanking force. Use the fact that you can build anywhere construct units in all these weird places, climb any piece of terrain and come at the Humies from every possible angle for the swarm. Wizard, I hope that you find these tips useful on your journey to become the Supreme Bug Commander. If you have any extra tips, if you disagree with anything here, or you think I missed anything, throw it down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a subscribe and join us later on on Twitch at some point where we're streaming Silica and we're having a great time. Everyone can crowd into the lobbies. Sometimes we bug them out and we get like 18 people in there and it's a complete, absolute, fest of madness okay regardless guys thank you so much for watching the video have a lovely day i've been your host wizard peace